guys, it's Lisa, and today I wanted to do my favorites video with you guys. I know it's already the 4th of November, so I'm a little bit behind on this. Um, I don't have a too terribly long list, but I did have some things that I thought was important to mention. So go ahead and get started, okay? Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was um, movies or TV shows. Um, I didn't really have any movies per se that I could really think of, and I thought, Lisa, if you're having to think that hard, then you probably didn't really have any that was worth mentioning for the month of October. But I did have a show, and I thought it was very interesting. It comes on the A&E channel, and it's called 60 Days In, and it's about a sheriff that go, gets these people to go undercover into his jail. It's in Clark County, and they do 60 Day stints as criminals. Um, and then they report back and tell all the things that they've learned about how inmates are getting drugs in. And the guards don't even know that they're not real inmates. So they are treated like real inmates. So it's a really good show, and I do recommend watching it. Um, the next thing on my list is music. And um, this is Lady Gaga's new album. It's called Joanne. And I am so in love with the song Million Reasons and Angel Down. So I do recommend giving that a listen, especially if you do like uh, Lady Gaga. Um, I feel like these two songs are probably my favorite on the album. So now back uh, getting into some uh, more beauty type uh, items. Um, the first thing that I have is an eyeshadow palette. And I was very shocked about this eyeshadow palette. But it is the All Natural by Wet n Wild. Um, I absolutely love this palette. It is so pigmented. The shadows are so buttery and just rich and have so much pigment. Uh, not a whole lot of fallout. Let's see, I'll give you a couple of swatches here so you can see. It's both matte and some shimmer shades. So if you can see that, they are just beautiful colors and I, I just love them so um, I'll do some makeup looks here pretty soon probably with these I've been doing some um, get ready with me and makeup looks so you'll probably see that one in the future and I have just been wearing that almost every day I love it I don't have it on today I've got the bombs nude tune on today and it was because I actually just recorded a uh, makeup tutorial with this so you'll be seeing that coming out soon too so the next thing that I have is another eyeshadow palette that I got, and this is um, the Kylie Bronze palette. Um, I really like this palette as well. I love the colors in here. I'm in love with this citrine color in the center. Um, I find that if you don't have a good primer on, that the pigment payoff may not be the best, but I still love it. And if you have a primer on, then it is wonderful. Um, the next thing I have is yet another eyeshadow. I know this is just crazy. Um, but this is the Beauty Basics, and I got this in my Ipsy box. Um, this is so buttery, it's just crazy. And I went on the Basics, uh, the Beauty Basics website, and they have a huge palette of, you know, multicolors, and they're very inexpensive. But the ingredients in it right away says talc powder, so I don't think it's going to be the same as this. But as far as this single, this is the only one, the only color that they have. But it is so buttery and so beautiful. Um, I, I just love this. Um, if I ever do use all of this, I can see me buying this for sure. Um, the next thing that I have is a lipstick. This is a Rimmel lipstick, and it's from that Kate edition, and the color is in Rosetto. It's just a beautiful, like, dusty mauve rose type color. I'm wearing it today. I mean, it's a matte finish, but of course, with the lipsticks, it doesn't dry down like a um, lip gloss or the liquid lips do. So, I like it a lot. It gives me that matte look without that drying effect. And it's not a long lasting, it does transfer, but it does stay on quite a while, so I am enjoying that. Um, then I have a foundation, and I'm not going to talk a lot about this foundation, because I feel like I'm probably going to do another video on this foundation for several reasons. 
But this is the Air Cosmetics um, HD Studio Foundation. I'm wearing it today. It's in, uh, my color is in natural. A friend gave me this. She purchased um, one in her color, and then she got one for free for her to purchase. And um, she's darker than I am, so this color was too light for her. And as soon as I tried this the very first time, I knew that I was in love with this foundation. I put it on with a brush. It goes on so easy, so fast. It spreads out so good. It's buildable. It covers. I mean, I have some breakouts right now, and I don't know if you can see them or not, but from where I'm sitting and looking in the viewfinder, I can't see them. So, um, I just love it, and it lasts all day. It doesn't make me feel um, greasy. It's very lightweight, and I'm sorry for all the no noise in the background. Malika, my dog, is down here digging around and playing. Um, she just makes all kinds of noise. But anyway, <clears throat> I am just in love with this foundation. So, I'm going to do another video, I think, on this, because there's been, I think, some media stuff on this um and i really wanted to uh do a video so that's all i'm going to say about the um foundation the next thing that i have is an eyeliner and it is the ciate fierce flicks guys i got this in my ipsy box and i have been in love ever since i got it and i don't know why i'm shocked because if you remember when i got the ciate fairnail polish from the ipsy box I was in love. So I'm wondering at this point now if I don't need to try everything that Ciate puts out because two for two, I have been in love. So this just comes in black and it's a felt tip and it goes on so smoothly and you don't, it doesn't skip, miss, or leave messy lines. It doesn't spread out everywhere once it gets on your skin. It is just so good and it stays all day. I can do a really good um, wing with it, and it's very easy. I feel like if you are a beginner with these liquid eyeliners and a beginner with doing wings, this would be perfect for you to start out with. Again, it's the Ciate Fierce Flicks, and I do see myself purchasing this and this being a long-lasting um, makeup product in my makeup bag. Um, the next thing is a makeup remover. Um, I haven't really used a lot of makeup removers in my day, but I learned about the micellar waters and really liked the idea of them. So I picked up the Garnier um, micellar water, and this one is, this is the, for the waterproof. There's a pink cap and a blue cap. The blue cap is the um, one for waterproof makeup. So guys, I just put this on a pad lay it on my eye for a couple of seconds and wipe and all my makeup comes off in a couple of swipes on my eye and then i've also been using the pads on my face um and it comes off so easily my face you know it comes off cleaner and um, i can tell that my skin is in better conditions while since using this and it's going to last me for a while i feel like you don't take a whole lot but um, i do recommend this and i'm in love with it and I can see me purchasing this month after month. And then the next thing I follow up with after that, and I got this in my Walmart box. Everything has just been coming to me in boxes, and I'm loving it. This is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. You know, I know I've said to you guys that I have a dry T-zone. I suffer really bad with my forehead and down my nose. And I use a Lancome product during the day because it's got SPF in it. And it works really well, but I thought, maybe I should start moisturizing at night as well. So I clean my face with the micellar water, and then I go in with the Cetaphil on my forehead and down my nose. And guys, I can tell you that it is working. I don't know if it's the Cetaphil all on its own that's making the difference, or just the addition to my daily moisturizer, adding this nightly. But, you know, normally whenever I do the daily, I can tell that my forehead is still dry and flaky before I put it on. And sometimes I have to double moisturize because I'll go and put my foundation on and I can still see the flaky skin. Since I've been doing this at night as well, that has stopped. Um, I, even though I'm not seeing the flaky skin on my forehead anymore, I'm doing my day, daily moisturizing because I'm sure it'll come back if I don't. 
but I have seen no flaky skin. My foundations have been going on a lot smoother. So I do recommend this for night cream. It is great. And this little jar is going to last me a very long time. I've been using this now for the entire month of October. And as you can see, I mean, it's barely been dented. It's just a little amount about, you know, like that. And that's what I put on my forehead and down my T-zone at night. And so, I mean, it goes a very long way. So, I do recommend this. And I will more than likely be repurchasing this after it's done. Then I have um, two more products. One, I know that I think, I think it was last month that I had it on um, my favorites. But I have fell so even deeper in love with this product this month that I feel like I need to bring it back. This is the Santi Face Primer. And guys, I know I've talked to you about my love for Bare Minerals for the last two years. And how I love the Bare Minerals Primers. And I love the Bare Minerals Foundations. And that I would always use them and blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you. The, when I first started liking this, I was using this in conjunction with Baby Skin from Maybelline. And I couldn't tell, I mean, I did like this, but I didn't tell how much I liked it. Till I ran out of the Baby Skin and I just started using this on its own. Guys, I get this for a dollar on Shop Miss A. And I cannot tell you, I freaking love this stuff. It is the best primer that I have ever used. For a dollar, a dollar. It doesn't break my skin out. It's just great. So they're sold out on there again because I went back on there. And when I bought it this time, I bought two, thank goodness. But I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. And when they come back, I can tell you right now, I just dropped it on the floor. But I can tell you right now that I will be purchasing 10 or 12 of them. I do not want to be without that stuff. And when it's a dollar, you can get 10 or 12 of them. So I'm very excited about that. Um, the last product that I have is another skincare product. Um, I've really amped up my skincare here lately, um, just trying to get my face cleaned up. So um, this is the Clear Seal, and it is the um, Four Hour Maximum Strength Rapid Action Treatment Lotion, face, chest, and back. And it has got the salicylic acid, two percent of it. So what I do is I put this in the shower. And um, after I exfoliate, because I exfoliate every other to every two times um, in the shower, and I've been using that, um, oh, what's it called? Is it bare skin food for your face? It's like a brown sugar scrub, and the, the sugars dissolve as you scrub. Um, but anyway, I've been using that, and it's not harsh, so I feel like I can use it more often. And then after that, I follow up with this. And of course, when I first started using this, it started bringing out those um, imperfections, and I had a lot of breakout. Then once it started cleaning them up, I feel like it has kept them gone. So I do recommend this, and I'm liking it so far. Um, and these things usually last me a long time. So we'll see how I feel about it once I get to the end of the bottle and if I really feel like um, it's still doing a great job. So that was it for my favorites. I feel like there was a lot, um, even though I thought at the first it wasn't, um, but it seems like it was. It Maybe it just didn't look like a lot sitting here. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know I always love seeing other YouTubers' favorites. Because it really lets me know what they've been using for the month and what they've really come out liking at the end. Because it's very easy for you know us to be doing a video and try something and say, oh, I love this. But after you use it several times, do you really still love it? So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the favorites as well. And um, let me know if you're using some of these products. Or maybe if you've had bad experiences with these products or have better recommendations. Um, or if you do go out and get some of these products because you see my video and you find that you do like them as much as I do, let me know. I would love to know that I have recommended something to you guys and you've tried it and you feel as passionate about it as I do and you love it. Um, I would never come on here and tell you that I love something or that I think something's great quality and it not be. Um, these are my opinions and what I think of these products. 
I'm not endorsed by any of these companies or these products to do this video or to tell you that I'm enjoying the product. It's a true um, opinion on how I feel after using the product several times. So all of these that I've told you today have been my favorites for October. And again, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've had a wonderful month. I hope November will be just as good. Looking forward to Thanksgiving, of course, and the upcoming holidays. So I will see you guys next time. God bless.